Alright guys, so welcome to a video about the new Radeon software. It's called Radeon Settings, and this is the Crimson software that is going to be released hopefully today or tomorrow. And the way that I got it, it was leaked. So, um, this fixes a lot of problems in gaming, like a lot. And I believe it can hit more or less. You can add profiles, you can click global settings you know do what needs to be done and uh... here's the one thing that i'm interested in it's called shader cache and enabling it will pretty much improve your performance in any game uh... it will also increase loading times and a bunch of stuff like that so that's really good and um... having tessellation mode to be amd optimized is also a good thing as well but you can also override and set them whatever way you want. 8 is the best to have it at. Get to turn that on. Uh, you have what's called global overdrive. It allows you to, you know, overclock everything just like as it was uh, before. And I wouldn't use that if my life depended on it, to be honest. It's a horrible thing. It doesn't have any fan profiles or anything. And, uh, you know, you can try advanced setup. Your software's up to date. You can get preferences and things like that. Radeon additional software, get rid of that. And, um, let's see what it. Yeah, some things don't work right now in this. By the looks of it. Check for updates. Currently, the most updated software, Ifinity. There are not enough displays for AMD Ifinity. If you're using more than two displays, make sure that. Apparently, it's not detecting my second display. And I could care less. Alright, so Cinema Classic, Sports, Vivid, Custom, Enhanced. So we're going to click Enhanced. And. More or less. Click more and see what happens. It's smooth, it just tells you in details everything. Identify all and it identifies both displays. I got the scaling mode, the GPU scaling. This is all pretty nifty and I like the whole arrow effect it has going on. It's pretty cool as well. Uh, this is your overview for your system. Crimson, you know, all the good happy stuff. Uh, the reason why I took out the other sticks of RAM, they were not cooperating with each other. So, back down to 16, but I'm going to buy another 16 soon. And here shows everything that's installed software wise. And here's your hardware. And go back to the home screen. Not bad, it even has its own notification center. Hmm, I like this a lot. Now, there's been a report, and I'm going to open up Chrome instead, and we're going to go to the Guru 3D topic. Many have reported um, issues being fixed in Witcher, the stuttering issues. Um, the API overhead test has gotten a huge point increase. You know, the Witcher 3 stuttering is fixed, as I said before. And, um, mouse lag. Mouse lag. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Got no mouse lag at all. So, he's obviously full of shit, but. Four oh one unauthorized. I like that. Um, if a newer version of this is released today, um, and it's newer than the leaked one, I'll install that as well. But if you want this, it's going to be in the description below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Now I need to go test out Arc to see how that plays. See you guys.